So I have now installed a reset switch and the pitch bend onto the circuit. Let me just show you how that worked. Um, the reset switch is very simple. If I go to the battery here, it's a little hard to see because it's red on red, but this line coming from the battery right here goes over to this switch that is more complicated than what I actually need, but um, does the job. And so the battery contact comes from there. And when it's in um, this position right here, the battery is connected. And so I just soldered um, this lead right here to the original lead from the battery right here. And then that just goes to the circuit board. So that's pretty simple. The next one was a little bit more complicated. Um, this was the potentiometer to change the pitch. And what I did is I wired it, I soldered the lead from the potentiometer. So I've got one lead from the potentiometer right here, which is connected to the first point on the circuit board where I did the bend. And then the second lead for the potentiometer goes over here to this simple switch, which allows me to control whether I use the um, this particular bend or not. So when it's in this switch, or in this position, um, there's a connection from potentiometer right here to ground, indicated by black. When it's like this, it's not connected, and I have the unaltered sound. So this black wire here is just simply soldered to ground on the circuit. So that combination allows me to use it with or without the pitch bend. So let me just give this a shot. So this is with the bend, and then I could simply turn it off like that. And then I could turn it back on again, and then play with the sound. And there you have it.